Welcome, Lido lovers. This is a edition of Light Experiments. We're joined by Mo. Hi, Mo. Hi, Phil. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Today is an interesting one. We've had a number of different calls from some of our customers asking questions around how dirty can a LiDAR lens get? Do LiDARs deal well with dust? Do they deal well with grime on the front of the lens? And uh, Mo has actually devised an experiment. So tell us a little bit, a bit about your experiment. Um, tell us about the unit you've used. Um, and then we can talk our, um, our viewers through the experiments. Awesome. So I ran a little experiment running with the SF30D. Um, just to simulate a bit of dust on the lens, I used some coffee granules. And uh, yeah, the, the signal from, or the return signal still looked good. And this was with the lenses almost completely covered with coffee granules. So yeah, it was an interesting experiment to run. All right, so the setup of the experiment here, there's the 30D, we're clicking through, this is the distance graph, and it shows you the reading distance, and we start to sprinkle those coffee granules on. So, Mo, why are we seeing such consistency in the signal here? Well, we're measuring directly against the, the roof, and we're not seeing any fluctuations until we added some coffee granules, but we also have a bit of the glass in front of the Right, lenses. that's my hand. There's my hand in the glass, and we can see the LiDAR picking up um, a far closer signal. And then as the lenses start to fill up, um, we're just going to wait for my hand to move out. And there we go, completely covered. And we have a stable signal at 1.79 meters consistent through the coffee granules. That's correct, Phil. Great. Well, thank you so much, Mo. I think this is a great experiment and helps uh, demonstrate to our users how resilient um, LiDARs are in very, very challenging environments. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Phil. Thanks. Thanks.